The world of helicopters and aeronautical engineering has traditionally been one dominated by men. But it seems in one small corner of Camp Bastion in Afghanistan, there's a quiet takeover underway. Lorna Ward went to find out more. My name's Nicky Wallace. I'm the Sea King Engineering Officer for the Royal Navy's Sea King Mark IV. My name is Captain Charlotte Joyce and I'm the OC of the Apache Engineering Detachment. My name's Captain Kate Redfern. I'm the OC of the Engineering Deck for the Lynx. My name is Katie Muldoon. I'm the OC Eng for 1419 Flight Merlin Deck. My name's Laura Morphy and I'm the Junior Engineering Officer on 1310 Flight. Not quite the burly grease monkeys you'd expect to be keeping some of the most powerful machines in Afghanistan in working order. But whether it's an Apache, a Chinook, a Sea King, a Merlin or a Lynx, you have these five women to thank for keeping them flying over Helmand. And in these conditions, that's easier said than done. Um, it's really challenging. The Lynx Mark 9 Alphas, a new UR that's only come into theatre um, in April, end of April. So we're still learning a lot about the, the new additions to the aircraft. So sometimes we're getting some problems that are really scratchy head problems. And these aircraft really do give the girls something to get their teeth into. Uh, well, seeking it's fantastic. For me, this is proper engineering. A lot of the decks across the line, they've got glass cockpits, lots of electronics, lots of fancy kit to look after them. But we've got 1960s technology here and it's good, pure engineering. So to the inevitable question, what's it like being a woman in a man's world? For me, personally, because I've come up through the ranks, a lot of them have known me for about 10 years, so I actually don't have any issue with it. It's when I go uh, outside of my own environment, people sometimes struggle. They'll ask, uh, can you tell me who's in charge, please? And I'll be like, ah, it's me. <laughs> it's great fun. Um, the lads just keep uh, the, the banter going. They keep the environment uh, fun. Sometimes they ask me to tone it down. All five officers are qualified engineers and have more than their fair share of experience across the Army, Navy and Air Force. But they still get their fair share of banter. Uh, I generally try and stay above it, to be honest, and uh, make sure that they make me enough cups of tea to make up for the, the banter that I get. <laughs> so, like the old classic joke about women are just here to make tea, I'll say, right, I'm happy to make tea, but if I make an engineer mess up, it's not my fault. Their pride in their work and their crews is clear to see. Um, out here, we're the ones that get the guys out for R&R, &R. we bring the ammunition, food, water, their mail, so it's all that morale type stuff. Um, we've been doing that continuously on operations the last 20 years. We also cover the merch roll out here, the emergency response, and I have been just awe-inspired by the way that they react to the uh, problems we have with the aircraft to make sure that the, the soldiers get rescued when they need to be. It's always got to be serviceable, um, so it's, a, it's an awful lot of pressure, but the guys have woken up for the challenge and uh, it's something they take immense pride in being able to provide 24-7. And the inter-hangar competition is alive and well. We outwit them, outgun them, and just basically are better than them. New Merlins. Uh, oh, I'm sure there's a few things we can say about it, Janine, but uh, yeah... <laughs> So, is it the lethal Apache, the life-saving Chinook, or the old workhorse that wins the day? Obviously the Apache. It has to be the Lynx, of course. Well, it's definitely the Sea King Mark IV. I know I'm incredibly biased, but I would have to say the Chinook. Well, the Merlin is in a different league to the other aircraft. Um, we're looking at 21st century technology, not 18th or 19th century aspirations to fly. A dead heat. But with that kind of conviction in the aircraft, for these officers and their technicians, it seems the sky's the limit. Lorna Ward, Forces News, Camp Bastion.